Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Bachelor Nation. Now, I know it's been nearly a year since my last video. Let me tell you, I almost gave up on Bachelor Nation altogether. Last year was the absolute worst year in my professional career. In 30 plus years, it has never was as bad as it was last year. Consequently, all my time and effort and energy went into my professional career, and I was simply too exhausted or motivated to do anything else, including Bartosetta Nation. But the good news is that things have finally turned around this year, and I finally have the time and motivation to get back into the emulation scene. As a matter of fact, I have to confess that my biggest motivation to get back into the emulation scene was when I saw a YouTube video about a month ago from ETA Prime where he installed about to set onto a gadget, and it really intrigued me. It was shortly thereafter that I began to play around with Batisetta again and bought a number of gadgets to try Batisetta on them. In either case, it's been nearly a year since I've had this much fun with emulation, and now I'm finally ready to pick up Batisetta Nation again. Thank you so much for not losing faith in me, and let's hope that 2025 will be a much better year for Batisetta Nation. Now then, with the release of Batisetta 41 in January, one of the first things that I wanted to determine was whether switch emulation was still working using the old commands. Unfortunately, it wasn't, and I had to dig around to see how to get it up and running again. Fortunately, a little searching in GitHub, and I found it from my favorite French Batisetta fanboy. With the right commands from him, I was soon up and running switch emulation Batisetta 41. Therefore, that's going to be my first tutorial for 2025. However, this tutorial will only work for PCs or Mini X86 handhelds running Batocera. and won't work on anything else. Nonetheless, due to all the controversy that Yuzu had last year, I'm not going to touch it. Nope. Instead, I will be providing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get Ryugu Jinx and other Switch emulators up and running in Batocera. But before we can do that, you will need some important files to get Switch emulation running in Batocera. Now then, you won't need to worry about downloading the emulators for Linux or Batocera, but you will need the following files. Switch firmware 18.1.0, the PROC keys, the title keys, and the dev keys. In terms of the firmware, it's not illegal to download that. Therefore, you will need to type Switch firmware in Google. The first hit that you will get is from this particular site. If you don't see it, just enter the URL on your browser. From there, scroll down until you see the firmware 8 version 18.1.0. Don't bother with firmware version 19.0.1, since it didn't work for me after testing it, although it may eventually work. Now then, once you download the firmware, keep it as a zip file. Don't unzip it. You're also going to need to back up the keys, but unfortunately, I can't tell you where to find them or how to make up your own backup keys. Nonetheless, Google is your friend. If you have a zip file of those keys, just go ahead and unzip them. Finally, you're also going to need to back up your games. Once again, I can't show you how to back up your games, but you can find your solution on the internet. Just make sure that your backup games have the following file extension. .nsp, .xci, or .nsz. The top two file extensions are the more common ones, and they're definitely working about the SATA. Once you have everything, copy those files onto a portable hard drive. From there, we can load up Batocera. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so when Batocera, first thing we need to do is go ahead and press F1 on your keyboard. Let's go into Applications, and let's look for Xterm right there. Double click on that, and then type this command. Okay, exactly as you see it there. Hit enter. Make sure you also connect it to Wi-Fi, otherwise this won't work. But if you type it correctly, this is what you're going to see on the screen. Okay, this is going to take a while, about maybe two, three minutes, maybe five minutes max. And there's the next phase of it. And you can see there it's going to install a number of emulators, about five altogether. 
It's going to update some more files. All right, we're done. Once you're done, go ahead, type exit, and you're good to go. You go to your ROMs folder. Okay, so there's my switch folder. If you already have something in there, it's not going to overwrite anything, so don't worry about it. You don't need to delete anything before you enter the command. Okay, you're good to go. All right, so from there, I have to copy my firmware. So I'm going to go to my portable hard drive. I'm going to press F3. I can create two columns right here. And let's go over here to my left hand side. Go into my firmware. And I want the 18.1. Copy. Select the right hand column. Uh, go into BIOS. And look for switch. And there it is. Go ahead and copy it right there. Put it in the root folder right there. Okay, it's done. Make sure I keep it as a zip file. And let's go back over here. I'm going to my backup keys. Select them. And then put it back to the BIOS switch folder. Overwrite anything if you need to overwrite. Go ahead and do it. Overwrite. All right, and we're good to go. Now, let's go to Applications. Let me go ahead and close this out. Go to Applications. And let's go to Review Jinx Config. Double click on that. Okay, I already found my games. Let's go into uh, Actions. And let's go ahead and install uh, firmware. And we want uh, the first one. Zip file. And uh, go to Share Folder. Go to BIOS. Go to Switch Folder. And select the file right there, the zip file. Open it. It's going to ask you if you want to up install the firmware. You say yes. And it's done. All right, from there, go ahead and go to File. Exit. And click on File again. Close Window. All right, so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and press Start on your gamepad. Select Game Settings. Update Games List. And then I'll just look for the Switch emulator. All right, and there it is. Go ahead and select it. From there, go ahead and select the Select button on your gamepad. And go down to Advanced System Options. For Emulator, go ahead and choose this for the time being. Power Mode, depending upon your system, you may want to choose High Performance. Um, Auto Controller Config. I notice it works better if you choose off for this particular emulator. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And from there, graphics back in. Go ahead and choose Vulcan. I notice it works better. And uh, from here, you're going to select, depending on where you live, you can select uh, different regions, languages as well. In terms of the resolution scale, depending on what you're running, you can also increase it and bump it up, okay? I'm going to go ahead and leave it in auto, which is uh, 720 1080p. Uh, and that's it. Now let's go ahead and select the game. All right. So once the game has been selected, go ahead and press F4 on your keyboard. Go to, you're going to need a keyboard for this. Uh, go into Options. Go into Settings. We're going to set up the controller. Go into Input. Input Device. And there's my controller right there. And you can see there, it's working. Now, go ahead, just to make sure, go ahead and select the A button. Select the right button there. It might be is this one here. X is this one. Y is this one. All right. Everything else should be good. Go ahead, apply. Press OK. Press F4. Uh, and you can begin playing. Now then, just to make sure it's working, go ahead and get out of the game altogether. And go back in there, and it should work.
And as you can see, it's running really well. So the controller is set. In case you're wondering what I'm running this on, let me just go ahead and show you. I'm running this on a Ryzen 7 7840U, 780M graphics chip, right? It runs really well. In fact, I've got this on the lowest setting possible. On high settings, it can actually run at 50 watts. And it's an ASRock computer, mean little computer. Temperature, as you can see, is running really cool, even though it's in a low uh, fan setting. I would recommend as a bare minimal a Ryzen 6800U, okay, uh, for the best performance. All right, so you also have all the emulators you can choose, okay? So let's go ahead and choose this one, which is based off uh, Yuzu. And uh, for auto controller config, leave it on auto. And graphics backend, also go ahead and choose Vulkan. And again, you can mess around with these other settings depending upon your computer system that you have, all right? I'm going to go ahead and leave it on default settings, although I could spruce it up quite easily. All right. Go ahead and press Escape and then F1. And let's go back to Applications. Uh, let's go to Sudaki. Okay. This is the message you'll get. And go into Tools. Install the keys. Go into... Let's go up one. Let's go up. Let's go to User Data. Let's go to BIOS. And then look for Switch. And there it is. Your backup keys. Open. And there it is. All right. You go ahead and double click here if you want to. Let's go to computers. Select this here. Go into user data. Go into ROMs. And then go into the switch folder. And there it is. And there it is. And from there, you're good to go. You can go ahead and try things out. Let's go exit. Go ahead and select it again. And let's go ahead and select the game. All right, so now if the controller is not working on Sudaki emulator, then go ahead and try the user emulator. Set it up there. Go to F4. Set it up there. And it should normally should work on this one as well. Let's go ahead and get out of this. All right, let me go ahead and show you how to install DLCs and update your games, okay, on both Sudaki and on the Ryu Jinx emulator. So go ahead and press uh, Escape, press F1. Let's go into uh, Applications. Let's go to Sudaki, Config. All right, let's go ahead and select File, Install Files to that. I'm going to Computer, select the root folder right there. Go into Media, because mine is in a portable hard drive. And I'm going to select my portable hard drive uh, and then go into my updates. I'm going to go ahead and select this one here. Open it. It's going to ask you yes. You want to confirm that? Yes. Go ahead and install. And it'll take a while. Some games will install faster than others, okay, depending on how the size uh, of the update itself. So I'll go ahead and let it do its thing. Okay, it's done. And that's how you do it, all right? Now, let's go ahead and exit this. And let's go into Review Agents, Config again. Let me show you how to update the games here. This is actually better and faster because you don't have to update one game at a time. Yeah, all right, let's go into Files. And let's go into Low Title Updates from Folder. So you can select the whole folder. I will put all your game updates in a particular folder. Let's go ahead and do my portable hard drive. I'm going to go ahead and choose this folder right here. I'm going to go into this folder right there. And I'm going to go ahead and select this folder. Then, see how, how fast that was? Really quick. So those are my updates. And let's go back in there. And let's go now and install the DLCs, right? Select that. In this case, it's the same folder. 
So I'm going to go ahead and select the same folder, select, and it's going to install the DLC. See, look how quickly that did it. So it makes things so much easier. Okay, you may want to separate your DLCs from your game updates and, and then let it do its thing. All right, and that's it. Go ahead and exit. Now, the last thing I want to show you, let's say you want to update your emulator. So let's go ahead and go into Files, go Close Windows, and then go ahead and go into Ports, and go into, uh, there it is, Switch Updater. Let's go ahead and select it, and then let it do its thing. All right, it's done. Took about two to three minutes, that's it. And you're good to go. Let's go ahead and get out of this. One last thing I forgot to mention. Let's go ahead and press select and let's go to advanced system options. Uh, and let's say you have a weak PC system, okay? You may want to change this right here from auto to handheld. That will give you a little more performance boost in case you have a weak system. If you've got a powerful system, then go ahead and choose docked, okay? And that's it. Well, that's a wrap. I hope that you can enjoy some Switch emulation Batocera. So, what's next for Batocera Nation? Well, my next tutorial will be another emulator that's up and coming in the emulation scene. In fact, it's not currently found yet in the official release from the Batocera team. So, I'm going to play around with it first, test things out, and then produce the tutorial. I got to tell you, it's always exciting to test out a new emulator in Batocera. Can't wait. After that tutorial, I've got some new gadgets on the way that will be showcasing Batocera on. In fact, I've already tested Batocera on two new gadgets with surprising results. And soon, my other two other gadgets will arrive, so I can showcase those as well. Consequently, I want you to know I've got a lot more videos coming up, including more emulation and more hardware reviews. So therefore, please consider subscribing so you'll stay on top of the latest and greatest from Batocera. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging in there with me. I will see you next time on Batista Nation. Bye.